Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan video. I have a really super easy meal plan for the week. Um, just as a reminder, I am still counting calories and I am tracking it in the Lose It app. My calories range between 1,400 to 1,500 calories a day. And I didn't really have to pick up a whole lot today. Just a lot of produce and just a few filler items. I am gonna have to make that trip to Costco next week because my meals will probably I actually did pick up one thing of chicken because I wasn't sure I had quite enough chicken in the freezer to do the rest of the meals. So I will have to make that trip. I just didn't want to do it this weekend because it is 4th of July weekend. So unless my husband feels like doing it with me on his one day off this weekend, then I probably won't go till next week. But let me tell you what my meal plan is. For lunches, I'm going to be doing um, some fajitas and I might do it in a sheet pan or I may just do it on a grill, but I'll probably do it in a sheet pan, but I'm going to be doing a different marinade than I've ever done before. I found this one on Pinterest, so I just thought I would mix it up. So I'll be doing some fajitas. It'll have chicken, red bell peppers, green bell peppers, onion, and then also I'm going to do black beans on the side, but like I said, the marinade is going to be something completely different than I've ever done before. So I will probably film that and then just share it with you in my Monday what I ate video just because um, it won't be very long. That'll be the only meal prepping besides that and breakfast sandwiches that I do. But I will film just a little clips and then let you know what those look like. Um, for breakfast, I'm going to be doing some breakfast sandwiches. I'm going to be doing them um, kind of similar to what I did last time. However, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Um, last time I just did plain egg whites and I added turkey bacon with regular turkey lunch meat. But this time I'm just going to do the turkey lunch meat. I'm just not a huge, huge fan of turkey bacon. And then with the egg whites, I'm going to do sun-dried tomatoes and spinach in there with the egg whites. I just wanted to mix it up. I thought that would sound really good. And then I'll be doing some of the 100-calorie Thomas English muffins. For dinners, I'm going to be doing a sheet pan pineapple chicken teriyaki, uh, air fryer pork chops with veggies on the side. I have veggies in the freezer, a chicken, potato, green bean, one-pot meal, and then a copycat Chipotle chicken bowl. Now I have never ever been to Chipotle. This is like this uh, marinade for the chicken is supposed to be a copycat of Chipotle. I will have no idea if it will taste the same or not, but I'm gonna try it out and just make them into like burrito bowls like you can get at Chipotle. So um, in mine will be cauliflower rice. I will have um, pico de gallo, black beans, and guacamole is what I will be having with my um, my bowls. So let's get into the grocery haul. I only picked up one thing of cold brew. I thought I would probably just make some iced coffee or just make my own cold brew. I don't know. I just don't like it as much as the kind you buy. And everywhere was out of the Stoke cold brew. And that's what I've actually been really loving lately is the Stoke cold brew, but they were all out of everything. So I just picked up one of the La Cologne ones from Safeway. Needed lots of produce. Picked up some bananas, picked up some mandarins. I've been loving having mandarins for lunch. Picked up cherries, it is cherry season right now. Um, fun fact, I grew up in the town I grew up with, we grew lots and lots of cherries there, so I love cherries. And these were like 97 cents a pound, so a great price. Green onions, cucumber. I love to have cucumbers with hummus and I have some hummus in the refrigerator. Picked up some peaches and some honey crisp apples. Apples are my husband's favorite, but I've been actually ha loving having apples with cheese and then some pretzel crisps. I've been loving that. Um, a couple limes. I'm gonna have like, I'm gonna like squeeze a lime wedge on my um, Chipotle bowl. Lemons for my water. I needed some Roma tomatoes to make the pico de gallo, as well as the cilantro for the pico de gallo and for my bowl, my um, chicken bowls. I needed a green bell pepper, red bell pepper, and orange bell pepper. These will be for um, the chicken teriyaki dish and for the fajitas. Onions for the chicken teriyaki dish and the fajitas. Um, avocados. Sugar snap peas, this will be for that chicken teriyaki dish and I will share that with you guys. Um, green beans will be for that one pot meal with the green beans, chicken, and potatoes. Shreds for the burrito bowl. Romaine lettuce for salads. I picked up some baby spinach to go with those breakfast sandwiches. And then here are the potatoes I'll be using in that one pot dish with the potatoes and the um, chicken and the green beans. Two things of cauliflower rice because I'll be using one for the chicken teriyaki sheet pan meal and one for the chipotle bowls. I picked up some more teriyaki. I just have a little bit of this sugar-free teriyaki from G. Hughes. This stuff is amazing, but I'm not sure how much I need. So I picked up one more. 
Two things of black beans. I'll be putting black beans on my meal prep with the chicken fajitas and then also with the chipotle bowls. Um, that chipotle bowl did ask for the chipotle peppers and adobo sauce, so picked up some of that. I feel like I'm not out of focus. I have a new camera, you guys, so I keep feeling like that's out of focus. Um, Sun-dried tomatoes for the um, sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches. I needed some more avocado oil, pineapple chunks. I actually need the juice for the marinade for the chicken fajitas, and then the pineapple chunks for the chicken teriyaki. So it actually worked out really well that I needed both. Uh, HY cheddar. This is the best cheddar for my breakfast sandwiches. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm not a fan of fat-free cheese, but some of my calories have gone down a little bit since I've been losing weight on this um, calorie deficit. Um, I, I needed to reduce the cheese that I was getting, and I do not like fat-free cheese. So I'm going to try this reduced fat cheese. I really like the light cheese from Trader Joe's, so I'm hoping that this is similar because I don't have no idea why I'll be making it up to Trader Joe's again. I thought tomorrow I may have some hash browns for breakfast, so I picked up some shredded hash browns egg whites for those um, breakfast sandwiches. Um, Caesar, Bolt House Caesar just for salads, Bolt House Ranch for salads and for dipping it with cucumbers. I needed the fat-free zesty Italian for that chicken, potato, and green bean dish. Picked up some of the tomorrow wraps. These are only 60 calories. I like to have these um, either for like wraps or um, oh, that was the other thing I'm making for lunch is egg salad. I'm going to be making an egg salad. So I thought if I wanted an egg salad wrap or to have these with my fajitas. And then also, but mainly for my egg salad, I picked up these pitas. So these are the Joseph pita breads. They have six grams of protein and only 60 calories. And they're only like seven net carbs or something. So they have omega-3s. These are really, really good. I really love these. I picked up some of the Thomas English muffins, 100 calorie for the breakfast sandwiches. My son really likes these pretzel crisps, but I've been enjoying them, like I said, for like a snacky lunch with apples and cheese, and then some of these pretzel crisps, also with hummus. The buffalo wing is the absolutely best, and then I love everything bagel, I mean everything deli style. Um, as far as meat, I needed some of the um, turkey breast lunch meat for the breakfast sandwiches. And then I picked up one thing of chicken, just in case I did not have enough in the freezer. I'll probably use this for my meal prep since it's already thawed out and everything and then pork chops for the air fryer pork chops. And then I just needed a couple things. I was almost out of foil and parchment paper and I'll need these for my breakfast sandwiches. And that is everything, you guys. I will have all the recipes I mentioned linked down below and stay tuned again for my Monday video. Well, my video will be up on Tuesday. So the video I'm posting on Tuesday will have any of the meal prep in it. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.